No words can best describe how utterly amazing this challah bread is. The dough is ultra rich and slightly sweet. It's somewhat between a brioche and white bread and best enjoyed warm and fresh from the oven. Super fluffy and served in so many different ways or enjoyed simply by itself. Let's get right into it. Combine 3 4 cup of warm water with one packet of dried yeast, which equals two and a quarter teaspoons. Let it sit for about five minutes. Meanwhile, in a separate bowl, add a quarter cup of granulated sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and five tablespoons of unsalted butter cut into chunks. Melt the ingredients together either in the microwave or on the stove. Stir until everything is melted. Mixture should be warm and not hot. Let it cool slightly if the mixture is hot. I find anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes is enough. Now once your butter mixture has cooled slightly, pour everything into the yeast mixture. At this point, whisk two eggs and one egg yolk into the mixture. Mix until all the ingredients are fully combined. It's time to add your dry ingredients. To correctly measure your flour, run it across with your finger to delicately scrape the top of the cup to level and make an accurate measure. Gradually add about 3 cups of flour and continue mixing with a wooden spoon or a spatula. Add in the last half a cup of flour and start mixing with your hand until the flour is well combined and the dough starts to come together. The dough will continue to be sticky and that is normal. Take a larger bowl and spray it with some oil. Place the dough in the greased bowl, turning once to coat the dough. Cover it with plastic wrap and a kitchen towel and let it rise in a warm place for two hours or until doubled. After two hours, our dough has puffed beautifully. Remove the dough onto a floured board or work surface. Divide the dough into two pieces, one about one third. So you're left with a bigger piece and a smaller one. Now divide the smaller piece of dough into three equal pieces. Stretch or roll out the dough into an even thickness of about 16 inch long rope. Repeat the process for each piece. Line up the strands and pinch them together at one end. Braid the strands together. Take the left strand and cross it over the middle strand, and then proceed with the right one, alternating them until you complete your braid. Just like that. Tightly pinch the seal of the end of your braid. Repeat the exact same process with the bigger dough.
Carefully transfer the largest braid on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Place the braided dough diagonally. Now very carefully place the smallest braid on top of it exactly in the middle. Cover it loosely with plastic wrap and a kitchen towel and let it rise until puffy for about 30 to 45 minutes. During the second rise, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at our dough, it puffed beautifully. Whisk together one egg yolk and one tablespoon of milk, then gently brush the loaf with the egg wash. You do not want to deflate the bread, so be very gentle. Bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes or until your loaf is beautiful golden brown. Oh my, look at this beautiful braided challah bread. It looks gorgeous and it smells amazing. Let it cool at room temperature before slicing. This bread is perfect for breakfast and kids love it. My favorite way to enjoy it is with butter and jam. It reminds me of my childhood. That special feeling of joy, baking your own fresh bread from the oven. It's much like a labor of love. And of course, it's always better when it's homemade. Enjoy. See you next time.